Keller. It's from Switzerland. <laughs> yeah. So you're in Singapore for holiday? Yeah, for, for two days, yeah. I, I come to see my friends uh, right there. He live in Singapore. Oh, he lives in Singapore? He live in Singapore, oh. yeah. Today we are I'm here to actually pass you the <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the cars. Yeah. Amazing, look at this. Wow. <laughs> really, really nice. Okay, so Luca mentioned that he wants to check out a card shop, magic shop in Singapore. I'm yeah. bringing him to Auntie Betty's to, you know, check out the good stuff. <laughs> I have my gift. <laughs> yeah. Auntie Betty! Hey. Wow! Hey. Hello. 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 So really today nice, got, really nice. Today you got some good stuff. Yeah. Some bikes. I need the razor. Some this card that to be honest I don't know the history of it. <laughs> but I like how they look. Very I don't know so. And then you got some some thread as well, right? A little bit of thread, yeah. Oh and another deck? Oh yeah, the, uh, the, and the small, small deck. bicycle. Nice. <laughs> You've never seen it before? Oh, oh no, oh no. It's okay, we put some scotch. Sounds good. Wow. <laughs> Dude, you have giant hands. <laughs> <Oof>. <laughs> yeah, bicycle, the, the, the mini not, bicycle. It's not the USB CC stock, huh? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why, but they don't want to use the. Yeah. Oh, yes, Auntie Betty is over here. I feel like I should do a documentary about this place but I don't know whether there's interest for it so if you guys want to see a documentary about about Auntie Betty's establishment then please leave it in the comment section below tell, tell me that you want it Yes we won <laughs> Yes we won See you soon Bye bye you. So just you. Thank you very much Thank you Thank you, thank you. So Take care guys I'm happy to meet you yeah, okay. I'm happy to meet you too Yes Take care, man. Take care. Yes, you. Enjoy your holiday in Singapore. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Okay, Auntie, we'll talk about. Bye bye. Man, I love Auntie Alice and Auntie Betty. They're always so nice. Okay, now, back to the office. Let's go. Okay, guys. So, we're back at my place right now, and it's about 2 a.m. Today, we'll be looking at another deck. Today, we'll be looking at Michael Stern's Hype playing cards so check this out this is what the box looks like gold on the front oh wow you can even see the camera on this holy crap gold on the front gold on the side gold on the backs gold on the side go at the bottom and then there's a seal right here that says your turn let's open this up most of you probably know what this deck looks like um, naturally considering it got quite a bit of hype when it got released and to be honest i kind of like the idea behind it let's we'll talk more detail uspcc sucks at making those removable flaps like come on guys it shouldn't be this difficult to get into my cards So let's tear the flap right here. Ooh, that's a nice flap. Oh wow. We open it up, it says on the inside the My Turn Mixtape Volume 1. Check that out. Really cool. I'm not sure if it's because of, of the material the box was made with, but this this box kind of feels kinda of, 
weird. On the plus side, the cards feel great. We have two jokers. They both say that my turn was here. Boom, boom. Normal on the backs. Boom, boom. And then on the other two ad cards, it says volume one, and secondly, a poop emoji. Just wanna make that clear. Volume one, poop emoji. The poop emoji box doesn't look too bad. Like, look at this. Uh, for some reason, I find myself liking that idea. Let's check out the faces first. Uh, on the Ace of Spades, it says Ace of Spades. On the Two of Spades, it's just Two of Spades, Three, blah, 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 blah. On the Jack, Queen, King, uh, the basic idea is the same as usual, but the blue um, seems to be a more faded closer to purple version of what USPCC usually does. If we look at the Jack Queen King of the red card, of the diamond cards, more of the same. What's really really interesting, what's truly interesting about this deck is the backs. Now when I was studying art, there's this term that comes up quite a bit. It's called remix culture in which you take something that exists, something that well established and well known and then you remix it to create something new and that's what Michael Stern did here you can see multiple different brands of playing cards coming together to form one mosaic of what cards have come before it if we look at these stripes that go like this that's the stripe playing cards, you've seen it on this channel before if we look at these the teal and black elements where it's like little blocks and semicircles. That's from last year's Karishi Korn playing cards. Really cool. If we look at these yellow triangles, that's obviously the verts. And then I'm pretty sure there's some other decks in there but uh, it's probably not worth talking about. What I really like about this deck is the way the deck feels. Listen to this. Listen to this. It sounds so soft. And that's because the cards really are soft. Like, I'm just guessing here, but I believe these cards are the crushed bicycle stock. Not 100% sure. They do feel softer than the usual bicycle cards, but they also feel more tense than the usual crushed B stock. So, it gives you a little bit better snap on the cards. But like many of USPCC's cards, these cards seem to really not be able to hold their their band well once they have been banned one way. Some cards, when you take them and you refill shuffle them, at the end of the entire move, they come out like perfectly flat. But that's not the case with these cards. You can see there's like different bands in different positions. And that's definitely not Michael Stern's fault, that's just the way it is with certain USPCC cards. One thing that I would have really really loved to see on these cards is for the Virtuoso Playing Card segment of the deck to just exceed the borders and come out to reflect what the Verts have been trying to innovate and have try been trying to make more popular this year, which is borderless playing cards. To be honest, this metallic gold ink, I'm not sure why he decided to use it. It seems a little bit like I need a color there but I don't know what color I should be doing so I just toss it in. Whereas the rest of that you can very clearly see where the inspiration comes from. The yellow from the verts, the black, green, blue, red from the last year's country Corn playing cards, uh, the stripes that come from stripes. This deck makes so much sense except for the you know poopy gold ink that comes out here. All in all, I really like this deck. I really like the idea behind this deck. The idea of remix culture, of repurposing existing playing card designs into one design. That That's just like really awesome. There you go. So this has been a quick look at Michael Stern's hype playing cards. My turn, mixtape volume 1 playing cards. Now, right now I have a little small announcement to make. So this deck of cards this deck 
chances are I will never be able to use them in the future. And I think about it and I realize most of the cards I review I don't ever use again. Wow, that's shiny. Most of the cards that I use, I don't get a chance of using them after reviewing them. And it makes no sense for me to hoard all these cards. So I gave them out to the interns, uh, Ansel and Chandler. And then I realized, why don't I get you guys in on the hype? In the last video regarding a playing card review, I showed you guys the black WPTs. Now here's the white WPTs. And here's the hype playing card. What I'm going to do, is I'm going to grab one of NDO's brick box Take this deck, stick it in here And take this deck and stick it in here as well And when this box is full with a brick of cards, 12 different decks I will be sending it out to one of you guys To win this entire box, there's only 3 platforms I'm interested in YouTube, Instagram and Facebook how am I going to choose the winner? This is how. I'm going to look for my biggest, greatest fan. The person that, for example, comments on my YouTube videos the most or on Instagram, like, post stuff regarding the vlog the most or on Facebook, just links my videos and posts them and tags me. So day after day, I'll just keep track of who I remember to be the most vocal supporter of the vlog or the most vocal supporter of myself and at the end when the and at the end when the brick is full i'll send them this entire brick of assorted playing cards rare cards used cards unused cards brand new cards and they can go ape shit with it all right then so good luck to you guys with the giveaway i hope you are as excited to receive an entire brick of completely different rare playing cards as i am to give it to one of you guys and I'll talk to you guys soon. I'll see you on social media. Bye bye. Good night.